Um, good evening. Uh, let's see, I have here to Miss Rivas, uh, Mr. Lopez, and Mr. Um, Mr. Gavidia. Okay, welcome to the video conference of this uh, night. And um, we're going to wait um, a few minutes to because uh, there are a lot of students that ha haven't joined yet. Uh, it's going to be just two minutes, okay? Well, okay guys, um, we're going to start with the video class for tonight. Uh, and we're going to be reviewing the topic that we were discussing yesterday that it is called describing problems too. Uh, we're going to see, well, we're going to um, review that information then we're going to be working on some exercises. Um, I have prepared an activity and that's going to be in collaborative and uh, you're going to be solving that in, in the breakout rooms. But we're going to start with this. Uh, I will show you, I will show you a quote. Uh, give me a second. Let me see. Okay, um, give me a sec. Mm -hmm. Um, give me a second, I have a problem with my computer right now. Um, I'm trying to solve it, that's not possible. Okay, I have it here. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see the PPT presentation? Not yet. Not yet. Um, okay, we're going to wait. Yeah. What about now? Is there okay, okay, we, we have the cover, right? Um, yep. 
Well, I want to show you this quote. Um, okay, okay, this quote. I want to show you this quote because we are going to be discussing that. Uh, let's see. Well, I will, I will read the quote and you're going to give me your opinions. Um, the quote it, said, it, it, it says, uh, rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine. Okay, rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine. So um, here we have the quote. And is anyone here that wants to participate? Could be any volunteer here um, that can give us um, your opinion? Hello? Nobody. <laughs> we are just three people here. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, Me three bus. Tell us, what do you think about it? Mm, I think it's like searching for the lab, okay. like. <laughs> Finding the solutions to your problems before the storm, like the quote said. Okay, very good. I was sending a message to the group because uh, I'm seeing that we are just three. Uh, thanks, Miss Rivas. Okay, thanks, Miss Rivas, because you're welcome. That's that's something that. Um, that this quote is telling us, okay? Find solutions, okay, find solutions. It doesn't matter the problems that, that we have, uh, we can get solutions for, for, uh, for it. We have to look, the only thing that we have to do is look for it, okay? Uh, let's see, Mr. Lopez, what do you think about this? Try to hold the storm and you will find the sunshine. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree? Tell us, Mr. Lopez. Hello. <clears throat> okay, you are not there. Um, Mr. Gavidia. Mr. Gavidia? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, good evening, sir. Um, I was asking uh, to everybody here that uh, to give the, their opinions um, about this quote. It says, rise above the storm and you will find the, sh the sunshine. What do you think about this? What is your perspective uh, about this quote? Uh, I think, sir, that the... Uh... Mm -hmm. Don't matter what the uh, what don't matter what the problem you have. The most important thing is you take advance. Okay. You, you, you take advance of it, right? And and you'll find the and you'll find the end of the of the tunnel, right? Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, that, that's right. Uh, that's what we are finding here. It says, don't worry if you have problems, okay? You can move on and, and find something uh, good at the end. Uh, thank you, sir. Well, um, some of you already, already uh, joined. Let me see, I, I was reading someone that is writing in the chat. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, Mr. Lopez, don't worry. Uh, let's see, someone else. Any other volunteer, Miss Escobar? Miss Escobar? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Miss. So I think that this is a very important uh, thought because when we are in the storm, we uh easily give up 
-hmm. of all our dreams, of all our words. Um, I think that we have to keep going, keep going on, on uh, what we want to stay, what we want to be, what, what we want to do. And if we are keep going in our way, we are going to find the sunshine, that the sunshine is like our goals. The, our, um, how do you say, prioritize? Okay. You mean? How do you say prioridades? Uh, priorities. Priority. Priority. Yeah, I think the sanction is our priority and our goals. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss. Uh, well, okay. uh, well uh, that's, that's uh, something that we can take into account. Thank you, Miss. Escobar, you have a good opinion about it. Uh, let me see, Miss Campos. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Miss Campos. Sorry. Uh, Miss Campos, uh, what what can you tell us about this quote? It says, "Rise above the storm, and you will find sun sun. Uh, you will find the sunshine." I think that uh, today is very human say that uh, uh, go up to the go up to the, the sun because the context actuality context. Okay. I think that uh, when you when you right, when you are above the sun, you discovered uh, yourself. And you discover other opportunities to for it to be better person, better professional. Uh, you invent, you you can see other things that maybe can you see if you are in the in the uh, how do you say comfort comfort sun comfort sun. Okay. Comfortable, it could be comfort. Comfort, comfort. comfort. yes. And you need um, all people, all people have a story, but the difference is how do you take okay. that for revive? Revivir? I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, thank you, Miss. Me, uh, Miss. So uh, that that's a good opinion. Okay, that's a good opinion. Um, one of the uh, of our characteristics here uh, as humans being is that we can uh, find something to solve things. We can uh, use many. Um, we can take advantage of many things. Uh, that help us um, Mr. Castillo you have your microphone open and the different difficulties in the life in the job too yes exactly exactly that's that's okay. right um, in my opinion in my personal opinion you can only grow and mature by facing the different difficulties of life and only then can you move um, forward and go ahead in the life and to be continued. Um, I imagine or, or I am in the security that God doesn't put more weight on your shoulder, then you can't bear um, the life. Um, there will be difficulties, but there will always be some way to find a solution for if different problems, different issues. And I remember the book, um, and the, the book is um, who moved my cheese, for example, and, uh, and the history 
good history and another fish is a, is another book for to uh, the knowledge the practice to better in the life the the um, to to vencer uh, como se dice how do you no. see uh, vencer vencer yes okay um we can say like um well <laughs> well, I forgot how to say it. <laughs> Vencer is like uh, to say uh, super or super no, late. So it could be, it could be, it could be in a way, uh, but um, it's okay. like it, a bench, uh -huh. a bench okay. or something like that, I guess. And the super eight, the, the, difficult, the different difficult because it's a grow up the people or grow up the person. And, in the life is my okay. opinion okay okay um thank you thank you sir uh well that's true um we have a lot of things that we can um that, that that we can see um in our life maybe it could be a a problem and uh, maybe it could be some difficulties um and, and the only thing what, that we have to do is to look for solutions, okay? Nothing in life uh, can, uh, can finish our goals, can uh, um, take out or, or, or the things that we're doing. Um, let me see, is there any other participation? Ah, I got it. Um, Mister, uh, the way to say Vincer in English is like overcome. Okay. Any other participation? Okay, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to stop here and we're going to move to the following slide. We're going to be reviewing the topic that we had for tonight. Uh, and it is, well, we're going to review this first and it is describing problems too. Um, the, the aim of this class is, it says that uh, you will learn vocabulary for discussing steam that can go wrong with electronic items, okay? That's the aim of this, um, of this um, topic that we're going to be discussing. Do um, you remember this sentence? It gets boring? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, tell me, what are we using here? What is the form formula that we are using? Uh, what is the purpose of this sentence, okay? Can you please um, answer those questions? What is the formula of this sentence? And also, what is the purpose of this sentence? Um, you remember that? Yes, it was. Keep plus gerund from the past participle okay. but with the ing. Okay, very good. Um, one of the things that we usually do uh, is uh, when we want to re report something or we want to describe something, um, we use uh, this uh, structure that is using the subject plus keeps plus the gerund. Okay. Uh, it keeps boring. If you if you want to say, for instance, that uh, uh, 
that me t my, my TV, it's work, it's not working well. Uh, I can say like um, my TV or the TV uh, keeps turning on, turning off, or depends on the problem that it it, it has. Okay. Um, well, something else that we have to add this is that we have other other forms that can be used to report um, this kind of this kind of problem to describe this kind of problems. Um, we yesterday uh, we saw that we can use needs, and in needs we can use yearn or we can use the past participle in that sentence. Um, if we use needs with, with germ or if we use needs with the past participle, um, the meaning is going to be the same, okay? The only thing that's going to change is just the structure. You remember that? Yes or not? I do. Yes, because we're going to be working. That's something that we're going to do uh, tonight. We're going to be working um, on some exercises that I have prepared for you. Let me uh, play this, this video, okay? And then we're going to be uh, solving some exercises. Pay attention to it. Okay. Hello, we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. It, the buttons on the remote control always stick. They, the UCD player often jumps to another song. It, our new flat screen TV has a problem. It, those old cell phones never work right anymore. They, sometimes Ed can't use his solar powered calculator. It, my computer screen needs to be replaced. It, the answering machine never picks up any calls. It. Okay, very good. Then we have the sentences that we're going to be solving. And I will, uh, well, I take a screenshot to this. And this is the, 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 the exercise. Um, what are we going to do? Okay, what are we going to do with this exercise? Well, we're going to put in practice um, the, the structures that we saw yesterday. Uh, we're going to be using uh, keeps, we're going to be using needs, uh, and also we're going to be using um, the past participle using needs. Uh, it's going to be in groups. I will create two groups, and you're going to be around, uh, let me see, three and three, just two groups, okay? Uh, and if you want, because you won't have this, this screenshot, uh, in the break options, uh, what I suggest to you is take a screenshot of this, um, of your screen. Um, maybe if you are in, in your computer or if you are in your cell phone, um, take a screenshot and then you can use that, that screenshot in order to solve this exercise. Um, it's going to be, it developed in just six minutes, okay? I will give you six minutes. Maybe I will give you more than that, uh, but let's see how do you manage the, your time using six minutes. Um, well, is it clear what, what I'm going to do? Hello? 
uh, folks? Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Do you take the screenshot? Yes. Yep. Okay, very good. Amazing. Uh, well, I will move you in the breakout room right now. Please, if, if you have any question, uh, something that I have to, 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 to tell you is that if you have any question about something, you have a, a button that it has a symbol of, of uh, a question mark. Uh -huh. If you uh, click on it, you are going to call me and I will move to your session and um, you will have the opportunity to ask me your question or your doubts that you have, okay? Uh, well, see you in six minutes. confitura, embotellamiento, aprieto, obstrucción, apuro, interferencia. Mm, ah, sería? Mm, eh, como ver, voy a atascar, interferir, trabar, obstruir, cerrar. Creo que lo usa como atascar. Mm -hmm. I think that is that jam is wait 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 wait, wait. jam is the um, the buttons the remote control always stick they keeps jamming <laughs> puede ser a mí yo voy en desorden yo estaba viendo la la siete dice que la pantalla necesita ser cambiada, ¿verdad? Esa puede ser keeps okay. freezing. Um, sorry for interrupting you. Uh, the, the idea, I, I just want to tell you, okay? Uh, the idea of these breakout rooms is that you can practice your English. So um, I will ask you um, that in order to do that, uh, please uh, speak okay. in English, okay? It's going to be better for you. Okay, because the idea is that you can practice. So, try in that way. Okay. Thank Teacher, you. can you... Sorry? Can you check um, if this is correct? I think the number two mm -hmm. is uh, the buttons on the remote control always stick. They keep uh, jamming. Jamming? Yeah, you can use it in that way. Remember that you have different structures to construct that, to construct uh, the, 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 the idea of describing problems. Maybe you can use needs too. They need to, I, I don't know, how can I use needs here with jam? Uh, using mm -hmm. the past participle form, do you remember? Well, I don't know what is the past participle of jam. My thing with jam is with ed, but I, I don't know. This is a new word for me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what you can do is just Google it. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. To be yeah. Yeah. Um. But if I use jam in pass and I use the need plus past participle, it sounds like they need to be jam. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Must must be in that way. Must be in that way. Remember. Uh, one of the examples that we saw yesterday, uh, the past participle form uh, needs uh, the verb to be before the before um, before using um, the the verb in the past participle. Do you remember that when it says mm -hmm. um, needs to be jam or we can use the um, the ing form too. So you have different forms to use it. Mm -hmm. Instead of say jam, it could be jamming. Well, we can use flicker too. I mean, flicker is like move. No, well, no, run. Flicker. Uh, I flicker is parpadeo. Sí. Ah, uh, flicker in, in the number seven, yes. They, they keep flicker. So in um, the number two, are we going to use, they need to be jammed? Jumped, yes. Okay. The tree says that you see the player after jumps to another song. It keeps, it mm. keeps skipping. What is this keep? Keep is like saltar, pasárselas. Ah, yeah, uh huh. Omitir, sentarse. Mm -hmm. But the bottom, no, that you see the player often jumps to another song. It keeps, it keeps speaking, skipping uh -huh. the song. The song, uh huh. Mm. It's possible to clean, 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 clean. How the pronunciation? Flickering. Flickering. Yes. Mm -hmm. Flickering. Yes. But it's wait. possible. It's uh -huh. possible. It's possible. Uh, or it keeps flickering. And the. Uh, the similar problem in the in the screen to to put the the picture and to raise a picture. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in in Spanish, it's it more easy that the issues problem in, in the in the in the in the different uh, fix or repair uh, the computer or TV. In English, is a is another, for example, the, the flyback, flyback in the TV is, is a mariposa uh, negra, I don't know, but it's different. Yes. It's, Su it's super, a, it's super, a, it's, super it's a component, uh -huh. it's a, it's different components. Yes. And uh, sometimes it can use his solar power calculator. Uh -huh. He can use. Why? Uh -huh. Because, uh, oh, I'm sorry, um, the calendar is uh, where is solar six. Uh, uh, so he needs need calculator with the battery. The battery? It needs, it needs to be used uh, calculator with battery. 
I don't know yes. whether I need a word similar. Yes. Battery and change the battery. I don't know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or that or to mix, to mix component and solar and battery too. In the both in the both system in the in the same calculator. Yes. Um, and my computer screen needs to be replaced. It's it is flicker. Uh, it's, it's, it's jump or oh. flicker. Uh, the screen for the scratch. My computer screen needs to be replaced. It needs scratching. Scratching. Uh, uh -huh, my piece. My my monitor or my screen, my uh -huh. my screen, the laptop is possible. Okay. Crashing and the answering machine never pick up any calls. It's machine. Go um, die. Um, machine never pick up any calls. What happened? It, it needs another sample. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what, what is the what is the uh, different words in 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 in, in put this in sentences for the correct sentence? She never pick up some, uh -huh. over. Uh, uh, freezing. What is this? What means? I mean that the machine never keep any calls because it's break or is never in place or is full or it needs change. Changing or changing it, it need change. It need change. It mm -hmm. need to be changed. Need to be changed. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It need to be changed. It's a it's a good maybe. Yes, is the <laughs> um it's a quickly answer. Uh, <laughs> easy yes. answer. Easy answer. <laughs> yes, and the flat screen TV, does all cell phone never work right? Ah, okay, does all cell phone never work right anymore? They keep to be changing to the new models or the new cell phone. <laughs> it. Uh -huh. It keeps uh, it, it keeps um, fallando, fallando. ¿Cómo se dice? Fallar. Pixel. Ah, fallando. Failure. 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 Failing. Failure. Ajá. Failure. Es it, como da. Ajá. Falla. Failure. Failure is a fallando. But in the number eight, maybe it. Eh, sigue quebrada, I think. O sigue rota. Okay, yes. um, hello. Okay, hello. Let's check. <laughs> let's check. We're going to, we're going to check uh, how do you solve this exercise. And then I will yes, tell please. you if you're right yeah, or, or not. Okay. Uh, you okay. Are sure. It's going to be, um, I will teach. Um, Work, I mean, group, uh, group. Okay, let me see. The number one. What do you have in number one? How do you have it? Just tell me the answer. It keeps freezing. Okay, it keeps freezing. That's right. Very good. What about the second one? They, um, they need to be jammed. Okay, that's one. Because of the meaning of jam. The buttons on the remote they control always sticks. They keeps jamming. Keeps jamming, okay? Keeps jamming. 
Okay. Okay. Very good. The number three. Um, it keeps skipping. Okay. Very good. Amazing. That's true. Uh, I mean, that's correct. Uh, the number four. <laughs> Um, the number four, we are confused with number four and number seven. Okay, tell us, tell me why. The two answers can be possible. Okay, tell <laughs> so me. we are, are trying to choose one of the, one of the, the two uh, answers. Okay, what, what, what is the, the, uh, the two possible options that you have? Um, for the number four, um, crash and flicker. Okay, okay, very good. Um, in the number seven, you mean my computer screen needs to be replaced? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we're going to, we're going to use um, in the number four, um, a crash, okay, crash. Right. How, how can okay. you use it in that way, using the, the, the structure? It? It keeps crashing. Okay, and the number uh, seven, we're going to use uh, flicker. Uh, I don't know. How can I say with IG? It keeps flickering. Flickering, <laughs> flickering. yes. Oh, it's flickering, okay. It's flickering. <laughs> flickering is like, um, um, well, it's like uh, blinking or something like that. So yeah. you mean that the answer is it needs to be flickering or it keeps it flickering. Keeps, it keeps it keep flickering. Okay. It keeps flickering. Because so it, it's, that sentence it's is okay. the problem. It's like the uh, number, let me see, it's like the number two. Because a uh, jam, it's a problem. Okay, when we uh, use a problem, uh, we use need. I mean, um, keeps, okay, keeps flickering. But when there is something that must be repaired, uh, then we use a uh, need. Okay. The, well, the number five. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm lost. Me too. <laughs> Okay. Can you uh, repeat? Can you repeat the the answers from the number three, please? The number three. Yeah. yeah. You may you, you say skip. You say skip. You you yeah. gave me that answer, right? Yeah. Number four. What word did you use? Um, crash. Crash. Keep crashing. Okay. Okay, thank you. So the number five, I don't really know. Okay. Mm. Those old cell phones never were right anymore. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, I will. I'm going to. Use, I'm going to do this, and and then we're going to to uh check in the um. The exercise. Well, I will use. Give me a second. I will use a uh, um. The market. And we're going to delete the ones that we use. The first one, my computer is driving me crazy. You say it. Crazy. Okay. Crazy. So the number two, the buttons uh, on the remote control will stick day. Mm. Jamming. 
Yeah. Number three, the the that use that you see the player often jumps to another son. Uh, you use it keeps keeping the song. Okay, very good. The number four, uh, or new flat screen TV has a problem. It crash keeps crashing. Okay. Uh, well, the number five, you don't know. Uh, the number six, what about the number six? It needs to be overheated. Okay. And the number seven. It keeps flickering. Flickering. Excellent. So you have two options with the number eight and the number um, the number five. Tell me, which one do you think it is? Mm, we we think the number eight was is keep going dead. Uh, the number eight, it's keep going dead. Okay, that means mm -hmm. in the number five, uh, we have to use breakdown. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. they keep breaking down. Breaking, breaking down. Okay, and do you know the meaning uh, about what is breaking down? Yeah. Okay, tell me. <laughs> so it says those old cell phones never work right anymore. They keep breaking down. Okay. Maybe they mean to the calls or the functions, I don't know. Okay. I don't have a no cell phone, <laughs> I'm a millennial. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, well, you have uh, the right answers there. Very good. Okay. I'm going to move to the other group and I will check the exercise too. Okay. 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 Uh, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Good evening. Uh, well, um, as you see, I'm sharing my, the, the PPT presentation, and that's because we're going to be checking the exercise uh, in this way. Um, I already did that exercise with uh, your classmates from the other group, uh, and you're going to do it uh, here. You're going to give me the answer of each of the sentences that you have uh, here. Uh, in the number one, what is the answer? Just give me the sentence, okay? Just uh, tell me the, the, the sentence that you uh, create for each of, uh, of these um, statements? I think my computer is driving me crazy. It's new shame. Okay. But in this case, Miss, we have to use the words that we have in, in, in the right. This word. No, 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 no. Uh, that, that confused. Um, what I what I mean is that you have to use the words that you uh, uh, the words that you have on the right on on this uh, column. Okay, break down, crash, flicker, freeze, go okay. dead, jamming, overheat, and skip. Okay, and you say okay. in the first one, my computer is driving me crazy. It. What could be possible? It? Overheat. Overheat? Maybe or break it down. Uh huh. Or okay. freezing too. Keep freezing too. Breaking down. Freezing. Or freezing. Or yeah. overheat. 
Okay, how, how would you suppose that um, you are going to create that sentence? Do you remember the uh, structures that we saw yesterday? Using keeps, using need. It keeps freezing. For okay, example. that's mean the correct answer is it keeps freezing. So let's see. Keeps freezing. Okay. Okay, the number two, the buttons on the remote control always stick. They keep they keeps uh flickering. Flickering. Yes, maybe. Okay. Let me see flickering. flickering. Check the meaning of, of, of that uh, word, because um, it, it is another word. They keep break, breaking down. Breaking down? It's a possibility. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, check her out. Um, the, in, in, in this um, in this column, which word uh, can be related to this sentence? Sorry, I, I didn't understand. Okay, related words with a sentence. And the number two. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The bottom of the remote control always stick. Stick. Um, they keep. Uh, Okay, I will help you with this. Uh, in the number two, we have the word jam. Do you know what is jam? I don't know what is jam, it's mermelada. Is mermelada. <laughs> okay, but in this case, in this case, in this case uh, jam is, it is used as a verb, remember. We are using here verbs. Atascado. Um, the verb of that could be? Atascar. Atascar, exactly. Say, okay, that's me. say atascar. The, exactly. That's mean we can say the buttons on the remote control always stick. Uh, they keeps. Keeps uh, yummy. Yummy. Yummy, exactly. Yummy. yummy. Okay. Uh, the number three. That you see the player often jumps to another song. It it keeps flickering. Flickering. Okay. It's uh, skipping. It no. Keep okay. Off. Yes. Yeah. That one. That one. Uh, you say skipping, right? Skipping. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. um, very good. So it, it keeps skipping. Uh, the number four. The number four. Our new T or new flat screen TV has a problem. It. It keep overheating. Overheating. Yes. The keeps overheating. Okay. Maybe it's uh, a possibility. It's a possibility. Oh, it keep breaking down. Oh, that's another possibility, breaking down. But it doesn't relate with the uh, with the sentence number four. Mm -hmm. So we're going to we're going to choose that one, okay? Um, and I will explain why. 
And I will explain why. Uh, can you listen to me? Yes. Okay. Well, where we, uh, in the first one, we say it's driving crazy, it's freeze. Uh, in the second one, the buttons on the remote control is stick. Um, we use jam. And the use, that's use CD player. We use a skip. And we are in this one. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It, you say, break down or breaking down, right? Break it down. Okay. Well, uh, let's see uh, the number five. Those old cell phones never were right any anymore. They. They keep over. Over hating. Hating. Okay. We're going to use this. Uh, the number six. Sometimes it can use his other power calculator. It. It keeps going dead. Going dead. Okay. We're going to use this. And the number seven, my computer screens needs to be replaced. It. It keeps crashing. Okay. Crashing. Very good. Uh, and the number eight, we use the answer machine never speak up any code. It. It's it's flickering. Flickering. <laughs> okay. The last. Okay. Uh, very good. Well, I have to tell you something. Um, in the number, in the number, of, uh, which one? In the number four, in the number four, the correct answer is it is um, crash. Okay. Crash. In the number uh, five, and uh, those old cell phones never work right anymore. They go, uh, they um, keep going dead, okay? Uh, the number six, sometimes it cannot use a solar power calculator. It uh, keeps breaking down. And my computer screen needs to be replaced. It keeps Flickering, flickering, because flickering is like a uh, like a link. Um, the number eight, like blinking. Okay, uh, the number eight, the answer in machine never picks up any code. If um, in this way, um, what is the missing one? You get it? It change it overheat. It keeps overheating. Okay, very good. So um, I want to stop this, and we are going to go to the um, general room. See you there. Okay. See you. Okay. Okay, uh, we're solving some exercises and we're using the structures that we learned uh, yesterday. And you did an awesome job. You uh, already complete the, that exercise. Um, let's see if uh, for tomorrow's class we can have uh, more students. I will send a message in order, that, in order to um, persuade them to connect uh, to the video conference. Uh, I have to tell you something to all of you. That is, a, a, I don't know if, if a, someone notify you that you must complete at least, or well, you must attend at least uh, the 80% of the video conference in order to get the certification. So uh, also you have to get an aid um, in the platform in order to get the certifications. You have two things to do in during this course. Attend the classes, the, the video conference, and also get an aid in the platform. Getting an aid is easy because you have a lot of opportunities uh, to, to do it, okay? You have a lot of opportunities to solve those exercises and uh, to solve the exam, 
Okay, so what you need is just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying um, till you get an eight. Um, but in the video conference, if you miss one video conference, it's okay. Uh, if you miss two, okay, uh, well, could be okay too. But if you miss three video conference, you are in the limit, okay, in the limit of the 80%. Uh, that's mean that if you miss more than that, you won't get your certification. So for that reason, I'm telling you, uh, well, um, the reason why I'm telling you this is uh, to avoid some problems later uh, at the end of the course, because uh, it is so important that you can uh, be connected or you can keep connected during the video conferences. Uh, well, I'm going to give you any space here uh, if you have any questions for me right now. Do you have any questions? Oh, no question, teacher, thanks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, very good. No, teacher, thank you. I, I think that I need practice. More, 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 more. <laughs> <laughs> more practicing. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, that's what, what are we going to do here. Uh, and also, that's one of the things that you are going to do in the platform. Uh, I don't know if you complete uh, the first uh, section. Do you complete the first section in the platform? For not, yet. not yet, not yet. Okay, uh, well, something else. I have to add something. You can go um, in, in a platform as far as you want. Um, that's mean if you finish the, the, the exercises in a platform in two weeks, so that's okay. Don't worry about it. We are not following a, a specific sections uh, in the platform. So if you finish in finish that uh, those exercises in two weeks, it's okay. So, uh, but uh, we are going to be reviewing those topics, the ones that we have in the platform uh, here in the video conference. In the video conference, we have a program. So in this case, uh, we're going to be working um, those topics in, in a specific days. Uh, we already discussed describing, describing problems. That means that in the, in the following um, uh, slides, uh, we're going to see the topic number three because we already see describing problems one, describing problems two, and uh, we're going to see uh, more, uh, more information uh, about some other topics. Uh, we have a schedule during the video conferences uh, that we must follow. And in the case of the, plat the platform, don't worry, okay? Don't worry because uh, you can go as far as you want. Um, is this clear what I'm saying? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you, Ms. Rivas. Uh, what about the others? It's okay, teacher. It's okay. Okay. Very good, guys. Uh, well, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last uh, video conference of this week. And then I will see you till the next week. Uh, well, uh, blessings for all of you. Thanks to thanks yeah. to all of you for being here. And uh, as I always say, keep practicing uh, your English. You have a, a lot of tools that you can use. Mm -hmm. I will be sending um, some some web pages uh, where you can that you can use in order to get a, well if you want to uh, get some vocabulary uh, there. Uh, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Okay. See you Thank tomorrow. You. See you tomorrow. Have a good, night. good night. Bye. Thank bye. You. bye. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank you. Thank good you. Night.